So we are going to look at some definitions here. We're going to learn what a permutation is. It is an arrangement of things, and one thing that you're going to write beside here is in a permutation, the arrangement of the items, the order matters. So if you are going to rearrange the letters of Kelowna that they have here, basically what you have is you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. So you have seven decisions to make. How many choices do you have if you're rearranging the letters for the first letter? Seven. Now you've used up one of those letters. You don't know which one, but one of them's gone. So how many choices now do you have for the next one? Six, then five, then four, then three, then two, then one. Because you've used them all up. So this is a very big number, 5,040. Now, we are going to learn about an exclamation mark, okay? First of all, a very excited number one isn't that exciting, and it's actually equal to one. Because two lives next door to one, two with an exclamation mark, which it doesn't mean you read this like two, it's just we say two factorial, but if you'd like, you can say two is actually boring as well. Living close to one is just two. But three is equal to six. Four is equal to 24. And I mean, by that time you get to five, things are going crazy. So what's happening? You're multiplying all the numbers up to that exclamation mark. Three times two times one. So the numbers get very, very big very quickly. So when you get to six factorial, you're already at 720. And we found out from the last example with Kelowna, all those letters went seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That makes seven factorial, which is 5,040. So the numbers get very big very quickly, right? They decided to make the alphabet in the order A, B, C, D, and that's the way that they chose to do it. It's arbitrary. Who decided that A had to be the first letter? Maybe someone whose name started with an A? Like, we, c we are just happen to have that as our alphabet. But there's, and then that's the order you know, and you know, and it's very important, right? You know, oh yeah, B comes before C, and you look at someone, but it could have been any order. There's no good reason for the alphabet to be in that order. So if we rearrange the alphabet, that's how many different rearrangements of the alphabet there could be. Pick one at random and sing a new alphabet song. You know how hard that would be? So, but we've learned that as the order. But there could be that many different ways to the order the alphabet, right? So if I pick one at random, and if anybody in this class gets the same one that I pick at random, I'll give everybody in the class 100%. What are your chances of getting it right? One out of that. Type that into your calculator. Find the exclamation button in your calculator and figure out how big is that number. So here we have our definition. And there's our definition. You need to be able to work with factorials, whether they're numbers or whether they're variables. So n factorial, you would, just like when I have 8 factorial, it's 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So n factorial starts with n, because that's the first number, and then n minus 1, which would be 1 less, then 2 less, and then it keeps going until you get to 3 times 2 times 1. So it's important to be able to ex expand it. And we also have, by definition, that 0 factorial is 1. It doesn't follow the other definition. But for some of the formulas that we're going to need, we're going to need 0 factorial. And so in order for those formulas to work, 
0 factorial must be 1. So here's example 1. A puzzle designer decides to scramble the letters in the word education. Love the word education. Education is a beautiful English word because it has all five vowels in it. It has E, it has A, it has U, it has I, it has O, it has all five and only once. Okay? Doesn't have Y because Y is only a vowel sometimes. Okay? The shortest English word that has all five vowels only once has seven letters. So I'll let you try and figure out what that word is. Okay? Anyways, that's a little puzzle. Now, if you wanted to make a nine letter permutation, so you want nine decisions, five, six, seven, eight, nine decisions, how many letters are in the word education? There is only nine letters. So how many choices would you have for the first one? Nine. Then eight, then seven, then six, then five, then four, then three, then two, then one. And if you recognized this right away, that there was nine letters and you were going to go from nine to one, you could write this as nine factorial. Type that into your calculator. And we get a big number. 362880. So one of the things we find out is with this strategy, we can count very large things quickly. Like that didn't take us very much effort to figure it out. And with the help of our calculator, we can find out that there's 362,880 different nine letter permutations of the word education. Here's the hint. The first letter of the word that I was alluding to starts with S. Some of you might not have never heard of this word before. So, well, there's seven letters, and you have all five vowels. It's a type of tree. There's a second hint. All right. Oh, questions you can do are 3, 5, and 9. Are these, are these word puzzles giving you a headache? Yes? I like word puzzles. I'll give you another one if this one's too hard. What is an English word that starts with he, H-E, ends with he, H-E, but isn't he or he, he? Okay? <laughs> And I'll give you another hint, is in the last 20 seconds I've said the word. What? Don't say it out loud. If you have to figure it out, you can go and you can watch the video again. 